What's up guys, Zinigami here. It's part two of the legendary skill book islands. This time we have Log Luffy, Croc, Aokiji, Korazon, and Blackbeard. Remember that these islands are only going to be around for a few days and it is during the Thousand Sunny 2 and there's basically no reason to not use a Thousand Sunny 2 during these islands. So use the Thousand Sunny 2, make your teams very, very fast. We're going to be using a Bakura Akainu team for this first round. You can do Haruta Akainu, Buggy Akainu if you want. Uh, but the reason we're using Akainu is that both Zoro and Luffy have strength orb barriers. So they're both going to want you to have a strength orb naturally get through them. Uh, so Sabo is still here. Like many different teams, if you have Diamante or guys who deal damage at the end of turns, it's going to make it a lot easier to get through these first stages. Diamante special, if you just activate on stage one, it'll basically take you to through the entire island. Uh, pro, pro tip about Diamante special, he does not kill the lobster. So you're going to have to attack the lobster on stage two with your combo hits, and then after that, He'll kill everything else. Diamante, if you have your Diamante max level, because his damage is based on what his attack value is, so if you put Cotton Candy on him, he will increase his Cotton Candy. We'll deal about half of the hit points of the uh, Red Dragon here, so you also want to do some damage to the Red Dragon if you're using Diamante to clear out those first four stages very, very easily. And with this team, Akainu giving us increased rate of strength orbs will make it easy for us to get through both Zoro and Luffy, even though they are both red characters. So Zoro will have a one hit red bear a one hit red orb barrier. So Luffy will have a one red orb barrier. Uh, I want to use Sabo special here, but I forgot to use it, so we'll just use it next turn. You can get through with just regular attacks, but to make this team in particular faster, use Sabo on this stage and we're using the rest of our specials on the next stage. Uh, you know, I'll just use it anyways. Remember that since he has the berry, always start with a red orb. Attacking without a red orb will do nothing at all. And it'll make it useless. Against Luffy, Luffy has 650,000 hit points. The dugongs behind him will have about uh, 900,000 hit points. He'll force you to attack him. So you want to take the dugongs out with a special ability. A Gainu will take him out easily. Kid will empty all your orbs. Kuma will give you all matching orbs. And Shiki is just there to boost our damage. You can replace a lot of your characters here with anyone else that works for you. As long as you start off your attack with a strength character. Yes, Blaze, you're a cat, Blaze. And as a cat, cat should be seen and not heard. <laughs> there is the Log Luffy team. Remember, you can do a Buggy, a Gainu, or something like that. But remember that Buggy will reduce the damage of characters over cost 40. So be careful who you bring with a buggy team. And look, we got no useful sockets, or no useful skill books. The drop rates of these skill books on these islands are very, very good, so I highly recommend farming them. Against Crocodile Doo, Croc is a Dex character. Round four on Croc will be versus Robin. Robin will set your combo meter to 2.5, so don't use a Rayleigh team. We're going to use being Bakura Buggy with our two favorite characters for these islands, Hadridin and Moria. Or, eh, mm, yeah, Moria. Keep saying the wrong names. So Croc will boost his defense to 10,000 for two turns. Robin will give you 1.5 times combo meter. That's the button, the icons in the middle. That's the combo meter. He'll... She'll set that to 1.5 for 5 turns. So we're going to be taking care of that with just a special. We're going to be using one special against Robin and finishing off with regular attacks. We're going to be using the other special against Croc and then finishing him off with Sabo special. Aw, you're alive. That means I have to spend a whole nother turn here. How annoying. I should have started on this and then ended with my Luffy on there. Luffy is replaceable with whoever. Um, we're just bringing him because he's a strength character and deals damage, and that's that's all. So we can replace him with whatever. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce Hadridin, Hyridin, whatever his name is. Not sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, big Fisty Guy. We're going to be using our Big Fisty Guy to fist him by himself. We're going to have Big Fisty, McFisty, and Moria can both be replaced by people who just deal lots of damage. You can use him with anybody who just does a lot of damage, just to make your runs faster, 
Or you can do it with like a type booster or something like that to make your teams even faster also. Robin! 1.5 times chain lock. Pew! We're gonna be using one special. Does most of her. Oh yeah, that one actually kills her. Well that's even easier. I thought she'd live with just a little bit. Oh, Croc! Defense boost! And prevents debuffs. He only attacks every three turns. We're gonna use Luffy. Kill the guys in the background. Sabo to do a bit of damage. Fisting. We fisted him. Hmm, a lot of good fisting. And then Sabo special will carry us through. You know, it's a, a pattern with Buggy teams. Buggy loves his Sabo. Sabo's the best. Next is Aokiji. Aokiji is quick, just like his six-star character version. Hey, surprise, they all are. The idea with Aokiji is that you're supposed to be using your specials on stage four, and then using Aokiji's to extend those specials to make it last all into his boss stage, because his boss stage is going to limit you to one special per turn, and also bind your orbs and stuff like that. On stage 4, Saul is going to make your quick orbs count as badly matching orbs, so using a quick heavy team isn't really recommended. I mean, or you could just use Sabo specials to get you through everything, which is the much easier way. We're bringing Sanji, and the only reason we're bringing Sanji is just to make quick work of stage 2. Just kill it with your special, that's great. Once again, if you have Diamante, Diamante is the ideal special used here to get you through very, very quickly all four first stages just using Diamante special and that basically kills everything every single stage. Looks like I'll probably take a hit from the dragon here which is annoying but not bad. It could be worse. You can use buggy here if you don't have the damage to get through the dragon. Buggy damage will let you kill the dragon. And it's not like it's gonna kill you. It just slows you down. The whole idea of these stages is just to go through it as quickly as possible. And using a Bakura buggy team will hopefully get you those extra six star books. Uh, against Saul. Saul. We better call Saul to make sure he's working hard. Saul makes those orbs count as badly matching. I actually don't have any blue orbs here. Gonna be using one special to get him low. I'd recommend using Hyrodin here because we are also going to have to attack him. And we're gonna finish him off with either the Hyrodin or the buggy attacks. Hyrodin and buggy attacks will be all you need. And against Aokiji. Shuffles your orbs, locks those orbs. Buggy, I don't know why I'm using buggy, that's a waste of time. <laughs> I, I don't want to use buggy special. You don't want to use buggy special, you want to use Sabo special and then Moria specials, that's all you want to do. So if you want to kill him in just two turns, just use Sabo and Moria specials, don't use buggy special like I did. Moria special, Sabo special, Moria does a nice big hit of damage to him. Sabo special will let you finish him off. If you use Sabo special first, that'll also be a little bit better. So what I'm doing right here is showing you the slowest way possible to kill him with this team. Well, just as an example. And then after the third turn, his number, the number of specials you can use goes away. So you, if for some reason you still haven't killed him by now, you have the option to use all your specials on that final turn. So that's an option too, is just wait until that final turn and just burst him down at once like that. Zone. It wants you to bring a Corazon friend captain. You're going to get your health cut, and you're going to get bind and despair. But you know what allows us to ignore bind and despair? Sabo. Crazy, right? It's like Sabo's really, really good or something. We're going to be using almost the same team again. Actually, it is the same team that we just ran again. So good. So easy. We're going to be using Luffy to delay Corazon. Corazon, uh, oh, whenever Law dies, Law's going to cut our health by 10% and also bind one of the bottom row characters for three turns. Or if you have level 3 anti-bind, he's going to bind you for zero turns. So if you have level 3 anti-bind, that will make this run a little bit easier. Corazon will preemptively blind your team, so make sure you're comfortable with hitting those perfects if you can. He'll also start giving you bomb orbs. Uh, and the most important thing to remember is that if you kill him the same turn that your bomb orbs would blow up Then the orbs will not blow up on you So bomb orbs will not kill you if that is the same turn that he dies For example, if I have like 10% hit points and I hit some goods and greats whenever the, on the turn that I'm supposed to kill him Or the turn that I do kill him on Those bombs will not blow up so you don't have to worry about it And come on Dwagon Mr. Mr. Dwiggly Dwagon. Bum bum. Bum bum. Law is green. 
I mean, yeah, lots, lots, lots of green, lots of green, yeah. We're gonna be using a... We'll use... We'll use yeah, we'll use Moria on you. Kills him right away. He cuts our health. Binds our bottom row for three turns. And here, we're gonna be using Luffy to kill the guys in the back row and delay. And if you had level 3 anti-binder, anti-despair, then you could actually do stuff. But now we just wait. I'm just gonna wait this out. He's gonna start giving us bomb orbs. Oh, this toad's great. Doesn't matter. He attacks every turn for 3,700. And here we'll be using buggy special to get rid of those orbs. Also deals a ton of damage to him. That's more than half his health. He has about 700,000 hit points. So between either Hyredin uh, and, uh, and Moria Specials, either one will almost get you there and let you kill him with Snobble Special Attacks. Uh, so you have level 3 Anti-Binder, or level 2 Anti-Binder Despair. That will make things go a lot faster. Luffy delays him. Kill him after the Binding Despair goes away. And versus Blackbeard. Blackbeard is a dex character. We're going to be using a Blackbeard Captain versus Blackbeard. Because Blackbeard is going to have a great hit barrier and Doc Q is going to have a good hit barrier. And Doc Q is actually going to make it easier for you to hit your perfects. And that's going to be a little annoying because if you are trying to hit that great against Blackbeard, you might, well, you're probably going to hit that perfect accidentally. So he's going to make it easier for you to hit perfects. And then Blackbeard is going to bind one bottom row character for 25 turns. So burst first bunch of turns, same easy normal stuff. You can bring a Sanji or something to take care of stage two if you like. And we're only going to be using, we're not going to be using either of our bottom row character specials against... Blackbeard, we're going to be using one of them against Doc Q, and then just getting Doc Q through attacks. Blah, 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 paralysis. Thank you for paralyzing me. The girls in the back, by the way, paralyze you if you get them at low health, so that's just annoying, and we're going to wait it out. Yeah, it slows us down a little bit, just going to wait it out so we can get through the dragon easier. There we go. And against the dragon, just, just regular attacks. As usual, you can use one of your bottom row characters against the dragon here. Like, I can use my Luffy against dragon and save my Mr. 3 versus Doc Q. Doc Q is going to have a one hit good barrier. He is going to make perfects easier to hit. He's going to poison you and he's going to boost your attack and your orb effectiveness. So, unless you use someone like Corazon to remove your positive buffs, you're not going to be able to use a uh, tight booster or an orb booster from this point onwards. So no, no Dofies, no anything else like that. And we'll take him out in those two turns, thanks to the delay. The poison's a very weak poison. You basically won't have to worry about it at all. And against Blackbeard, he has his great hit barrier, which is gonna make it harder for us to hit I mean, the perfect Easier to hit, it's gonna make it hard to hit that great, but with a Blackbeard friend captain, it won't matter. Blackbeard special cuts his health. Sabo in the middle row, and Hancock in the middle row. Hancock, all three Hancock, Mr. Three, and Luffy are easily replaceable with anyone just to get his, just to turn on Blackbeard. As long as Blackbeard's turned on, that's all we need. Make sure you turn on Blackbeard. Uh, enemy Blackbeard will have 800,000 hit points and attack every two turns for eight thousand damage and that's it guys those are all the islands remember that each island has some skill books that are very very good for a lot of different characters oh uh, we got double zeph books though they have a lot of books that are very that are good for some very very good characters like on the blackbeard island we're gonna have uh especially abdullah and jeet don sai and the sentomaru books that I'm going to be farming like crazy for Abdullah and Jeet and Sentomaru books for my super cooldown team. Doc Q, Foxy. Koda Zone has some Mansherry books, some Usopp's, and Kobe. This is, remember, this is a Kobe that gets rid of the Prevents All Healing debuff that is available on some Zero Staminas or One Zero Stamina and on a Gainu raid boss. 
Alki G has the Vista mm, Capone Thatch Strong World Usopp Crocs some other good stuff Croc Robin and Croc best of friends Robin works for Croc and they work so darn well together also the Nami especially this Nami is very 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 good especially on ambush shanks basically gets you through ambush shanks without any trouble and on the log Luffy some good stuff especially strong luffy and five plus luffy on there as well guys i've been seeing yummy good luck farming those books remember to get these done asap the drop rates on this island is very very good thank you so much for watching if you like this you can go to patreon.com slash zinigami and subscribe or check us out live on twitch.tv slash zinigami and once again thank you so much for watching and y'all stay beautiful